How's it going everybody? My name is Eden. Welcome back to another Free Realms Sunrise video. In this video, I wanted to talk about some of my concerns and some things going on with the Sunrise project. Recently, Mayhem made a post. We're going to go ahead and read it through so you guys can form your own opinions about the situation, but it's nothing major, I don't think at least, and there's always ways around this type of thing, but I just want to go ahead and get through it. And then afterwards, I'll be showing you guys some of the new gameplay that came out probably like a day ago from when this was posted. But yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, we got Mayhem here saying, hello everyone. We have heard everyone's concerns loud and clear and want to provide clarity considering our plans for FRS's launch moving forward. We need the website for the launcher and the launcher for the game. We miscalculated how much of an undertaking updating our website would be, but with new additions to our team, we are working to complete this ASAP. Another problem is funding. FRS is non-profit and thus getting... Okay, I just... <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> uh, some, some meme was just posted as recording this. Let's see this. Hey, is that about ready? These things, they take time. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. All right, back to what I was reading. Another problem is funding. FRS is non-profit and thus getting the necessary funds to host enough servers is very difficult. Server capacities and queue times may suffer because of the cost. Even when the game is ready, there will be places we have to optimize for pure cost reasons, and that could take some time. Between the holidays, work, school, life has been busy for a lot of us. With FRS being a volunteer passion project, we can only dedicate somewhat little free time we have as other responsibilities take over. With that said though, it cannot be overstated the amount of time required to complete this project. With the whole team having to dedicate thousands of hours due to the sheer size and scope of the game. Once we are confident with the logistics behind the scenes, we will provide specific dates and let you all know one to two weeks prior to launch. In the meantime, we will continue to upload videos of the game semi-regularly. We greatly appreciate everyone's patience and support. Thank you for your continued patience and we hope everyone had a great 2022. So right off the bat, we will not be getting a 2022 release. And that's a little bit unfortunate because I genuinely thought that was going to be somewhat of a uh, possibility considering they were showing us Christmas stuff in the last video. I, I just thought maybe a Christmas test was gonna happen, but I guess not. I'm pretty concerned about them saying funding is an issue because if that's the truth, then the only funding that they would be able to get is through Mayhem and the rest of the staff. And I don't really know how wealthy any of them are and I'm sure most of them are students so I don't know how feasible a full-on Free Realm Sunrise project in a, in a global server for everybody to play on would actually be. I'm thinking that the best move in this situation is to like he said in the in the post optimize the servers so that they can be cheaper which will inevitably d delay the release but that would still be great because then the community could stay together but the second option i could see being very good for the community is making the project open sourced i know mayhem has been against this in the past but there's many projects that work really well open source like dark flame lego universe open fusion and many others now that my thoughts are out of the way i want to know what you guys think about this whole situation i personally just want to hear what's going on with you guys and if you're still going to be following the project now that we're not getting it this year uh i'm i'm still holding on and i'll be making videos on all the updates that do come out and i am very glad to see videos of new content and stuff that osfr isn't doing yet so anyways I just wanted to mention that OSFR is not competition with Freedom Sunrise. I don't think they'll ever have nearly as much content as Sunrise does without extra developers jumping in and making that happen. Because with the current ones, they just simply do not want to recreate the entire game because that's a huge undertaking and it would take a very long time. Anyways, guys, let's get into the video here. Let me go ahead and pull this up. All right. So Owl said, here's our latest video, which features some new things. We've updated the Sunrise Corn icon, implemented Krugeras, I may have butchered that, Mysterious Shop, and more. Watch the preview here. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see, I'll make sure where audio is good. There we go. 
very nice. He's got the uh, new FRS. What do you call it? A Letterman jacket? Yeah. Oh, I can already see that new coin logo at the bottom. Very cool. Oh, and he just dipped the cow. So that's one thing we do not have in OSFR. Uh, we don't have interactables like that. So it's pretty cool to see that. See a lot of animals running around. Very cool. Wow, I'm, I'm just surprised. Like, oh, actually, I'm not even surprised. There's just a lot going on already, and I love to see this. We got an NPC with dialogue. That is beautiful. Love to see it. We got a coin farmer over there. Someone else with dialogue? Cool. Interactable warp stones. I think that was an alpha, but I could be wrong. Still really cool to see, because we don't have those in OSFR either. I'll stop with the OSFR comparisons. <laughs> Alright. Walking up to the NPC. Oh, we got some other NPCs there. Very cool. Yeah, it's, it's looking good. This Oh my goodness. They actually have the animation for the merchant. That, I actually have... It's been so long since I've seen that. Like, it was actually hard to find a video of that actually happening. Wow. They just purchased stuff. Alright, cool. So this is showing that the uh, Sunrise Coin Shop is working fully. And you can see a timer, too. Cool. Alright, well, I guess that's all I have to show. But that looks really good. And, uh... Yep, another example of customization. I mean, not too impressive, but it was good to uh, see things working. Very awesome. Well, I'm, I'm glad there's a lot more stuff going on already with the project. Do you think these little video updates are nice for Free Realm Sunrise? Like, do you think these in-game previews are fun to watch? Or would you rather watch one big content-packed update that takes longer to drop? I personally would rather have a big content-filled video, but these are nice too. And I think it's a good way to settle the community when they're at debate about when this should be releasing and all this nonsense. It's, it's really, it comes down to the fact that this is a passion project and they really don't owe us anything. So just bear with these developers because they're doing their best. Yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to show for this video. But if you enjoyed it, please slap that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. I'll be throwing out more Free Realm Sunrise content and OSFR content and i may be posting some clone wars adventures content for those who are interested so please stick around for that and uh yeah it's been eden guys and i will see you in the next video